Thanks for tuning back in. I'm Tommy Campbell, still bald, still in my basement, and still laughing at Biden, Obama, and Clinton getting together to raise $25 million while Trump is playing Mar-a-Lago wedding DJ and selling a book he's never read and never will. Yes, Donald Trump is now in the Bible business. I know it's just bizarre that people are so foolish that they think that the guy who boasts about grabbing women, the one who cheats on his wife, created a fake university called the Troops Losers and Suckers, and has been involved in over 4,000 lawsuits, should be the poster boy for Christianity. But the same crazies that blindly back Trump are also the book-burning crowd. So in a way, this is another book-burning since they are incinerating their money for something that is entirely available for free. I'll be getting into just what people are missing from his latest grift, I share a special cut of his Bible-pushing video, and an exclusive guest returns. Plus, I'll be seeing what's up this Easter with Alex and Marjorie in the bunker and more, but first, this. I think the American people are smart. Look, look uh, I, I've not said that. What I've said is there were concerns about the 2020 election. I think Americans agree with that. No, they Let's, don't. You don't think they think there were concerns with the 2020 election? But Most I mean, people don't, don't question the result. That's all I'm saying. They don't question okay, whether enough. Biden won or not. Right? Right. Pe most people don't oh, question okay. the no. outcome. Right. Right. Gotta love watching that unsavory wet noodle squirm. The man just always looks damp and scared, as if he's hiding something and about to be found out. It is clear right here that this clown car comb over doesn't believe the lies he helps push, but he's aligned himself with his fellow MAGA lunatics, and that's the only way he's gonna keep his job. So, Jim's all in. It is pouring MAGA tears. I played in 35 countries for over two decades, but most days you'll find me here. Thanks for taking in this bald comedian's take on things. Please join the best subscribers on YouTube while I blast the latest and stupid and more. Failed Hercules took to Twitter to post this. Naturally, I replied, you would think Kevin Sorbo would be a bit more sympathetic to disaster since his career has been one. Good evening, I'm Tucker Carlson, and tonight I want to talk to you about the busloads of migrants that are invading America, invading this country. We have photographic evidence of a trio of coaches transporting large men on the eve of Easter, when there already isn't enough chocolate bunnies and peeps in Joe Biden's America, and now your Ridgeways and Bennetts may wake up to a very disappointing basket. Sorry kids, the migrants raided all these Swiss lint bunnies you can have the weird Hershey chocolate that's only 11% cacao. <laughs> Just 1% over the FDA legal minimum to be actually called chocolate. <laughs> Michigan State Representative Matt Maddock exposed the latest migrant invasion, posting pictures of three buses arriving at Metro Detroit. These men were so dangerous, they required an escort. And I'm not talking about the kind Ted Cruz finds on Craigslist. I'm talking about police guarding these probably definitely dangerous men miles from your home, from your house, where you sleep with your wife. Now, I don't know what Matt was doing hanging out in a field near the airport. Hmm, what is that about? I guess every state has their own version of a no questions wood shack off the 36. For those less familiar with Matt Maddock, he is a Trump-endorsed, ranked most conservative state representative, Freedom Caucus, anti-communist, and husband of Michigan's most wanted Republican, or so he says. But what happened next will stun you. It's completely shocking, and the mainstream media will hide this truth from you. Soon after Matt Maddock posted these photos, his followers were ready to defend their country. Local boy Kid Rock stopped attempting to shoot Bud Light, and as ridiculous as this sounds, it's a real thing. This is what he drives. But at the airport, there was a different story. These men weren't here to ruin Easter. They were the Gonzaga men's basketball team arriving for March Madness. Mark was wrong but he didn't apologize because he's not a weak liberal. Instead, he doubled down on what was factually incorrect and posted even more about illegals pouring into our country. We know what's happening in Michigan. Apparently, the men were playing a Sweet 16 game against Purdue at Little Caesars Arena in Detroit, which they lost. And I'm sure an elected official with a $71,000 base salary plus benefits and expenses going on a mindless tear on Elon's dumpster fire didn't help them. Truly fascinating stuff. 
Happy Easter, everyone. Donald Trump is selling Bibles. It's hard to say that with a straight face. Um, they also feature a copy of the handwritten chorus to God Bless the USA by Lee Greenwood, the U.S. Constitution, the Bill of Rights, the Declaration of Independence, and the Pledge of Allegiance. There is nothing unique here. Lee didn't handwrite each one, it's just a copy, and they put some other public documents along with the Bible, doing their best to remove separation of church and state to appeal to the far-right religious base. The God Bless the USA Bible is the King James Version translation, and it comes in a large print two-column format. Know your audience. In the US, the King James Version of the Bible is in public domain, but in the UK, that's not the case. It was produced by the Church of England at the order of the King, and they never let go of the copyright. According to the book's frequently asked questions, is this a good gift? No. Return and refund policy. All sales are final. And what if my Bible has sticky pages? Seriously, this is here. And before I clicked it, I thought, well, it's because they were blessed by Mike Johnson. He's going old school with this session. But it has to do with the gold gilding around the edges of the paper. And they even include a video that explains how to break in your Bible. God Bless the USA Bible.com uses Donald J. Trump's name, likeness, and image under paid license from CIC Ventures LLC, which license may be terminated or revoked according to its terms, the site says. I'm wondering what one or two of your most favored Bible uh, verses are well, and why. I, I wouldn't want to get into it because to me that's very personal. You know, when I talk about the Bible, it's very personal, so I don't want to get into there's verses. No, I don't no want to get into it. There's no, no verse that means I, a I lot just, to you that you think about or cite? The, the Bible means a lot to me, but I don't want to get into specifics. Even to cite a verse that no, you like? No, I don't want to do that. You're I mean, an Old okay. Testament guy or a New Testament guy? Uh, probably equal. I think it's just an incredible, the whole Bible is an incredible, I joke uh, very much so. They always hold up the art of the deal. I say my second favorite book of all time. But uh, I just think the Bible is just something very special. Imagine if before you purchased one of his Bibles, you had to watch this clip. You were forced to watch the entire clip before you could go through the checkout. The man is a fraud through and through. Like most of his deals, it's a licensing agreement, so he's making money from it, and it's pretty crazy that you can just stamp your name on some public domain things to make a dollar, but this is MAGA, and fools are both buying and selling. I had some problems with the audio from Trump's pitch, but thanks to my Soros technology, I've cleaned it up. I'm proud to be grifting with my very good friend, Lee Greenwood, in connection with promoting our Let's Scam, the USA Bible. This Bible is the Letitia James version and also includes my Depends, yes, the constipation, which I'm drinking prune juice for very hard to keep my golf pants protected. Also, the Gotta Scam, the USA Bible, and it's very impotent and infected and tiny. I want to have a lot of people have it. You have to have a hazmat suit for the tiny mushroom. Many of you have never read and only watch Newsmax and can't see right in front of the window you're licking and how I'm a swindler. Religion and Christianity should be the last thing associated with me. And I truly believe that you will buy this book and you will buy this book fast. I think Ivanka's the hottest daughter I have. That's why Melanie is going AWOL. She's the second hottest in our family. I kept lots of top secret documents in my home. Many. I'm a dirty crook. I'm a lot of people's favorite crook. This Bible is a reminder that I am a fraud, so don't ask questions regarding my favorite passages because I only read Penthouse. Penthouse is so terrific. The sores are so stinging. You know, I called them my personal Vietnam. They always come back strong. On the end, we do some nitrogen treatment on the sores with Dr. Ronnie Jackson, Steven Seagal, under siege. Remember Erica Aleniak? That was so hot. We love her, and we have to pedal anything that is pro-God. We must defend God in the public square, and that's why I'm hoping Steven Seagal can join Alina Haba and Rudy Giuliani to defend him. We have to bring insanity back into our lives and back into what will be a deplorable nation. My fantastic father did a tremendous thing when he gave me money and taught me to have zero values and wear foundation. Hamburger splat. Cassidy is at the door. What can we do? Stand up, get a mop, and get the ketchup off the wall again. <laughs> I'm proud to endorse and encourage you to get this grift. We must make Ivanka post again. 
photos, good stretching, some yoga, and send them to me, and I'll find a totally quiet corner of Mar-a-Lago where I hit some documents and swipe through my phone and make myself feel great again. I just live for golf and pool pictures of my favorite daughter. Tiffany doesn't cut it, and Alina Habba is decent to look at, but she is very special. In an Eric get the turd tongs, I need help kind of way. Buying this book means you will help spread Trump's absent values with others. There you have it. Let's make Ivanka post again. God bless you and your stupid head every day. The website makes it loud and clear that this is the only Bible endorsed by President Trump. So if you've been reading any other Bible, you're doing it wrong. Oh, and it's also the only one endorsed by Lee Greenwood. So if you've been reading any other Bible, you're doing it wrong. Get the Pope on the phone. This isn't just selling Bibles. If you really look at it, it's a money laundering scam since federal law prohibits religious organizations that have 501c3 tax exempt status from making financial contributions to a candidate or a particular political campaign. But if a church wants to place a massive order for a bunch of Bibles, they can do that now. Trump joined with Lee to find a way to grift with this loophole. If you love what I do here and you can afford to help out, throw me a buck with the PayPal link in the pinned comment or drop me a super thanks with this button. And please take two seconds after this video to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. These things are free and help the show grow. Thank you. Alex here, still in the bunker with Marjorie. Again, good dude. Well, the globalists have been at it 24 7, pulling the deep state levers to shut the power to drone ships, to take out bridges, to cripple this country. And maybe you were waiting for like an important shipment and it was in one of those containers. Could be some dodgy vitamins, snake oil weight loss tricks, or questionable feminine hygiene products. But don't worry, I have all these available. And when you spend over $500, I will include a Brandon House CD and a strand of the Blonde Meat Swamp's Mickey work and the wrestler hair. And it has been a busy week for the Georgia Gremlin because she's been fighting with Mike Johnson and they both think God's on their side. Okay, get, get real people. And to prove it, she's been getting things ready for Easter. She wants to go all out. I get in the spirit by hiding eggs around the place and sometimes I hide them too good, right? I'm very talented. And then like a month later, I'll catch a whiff of something foul and I blame it on Marjorie while I'm filling the chunder bucket. You know, I'm just yelling at her, you stink, Marjorie, only to realize it was the rotten egg I had behind the frame photo of me and Kevin Sorbo. He used to be an actor. So this year, I'm back in the Easter Bunny outfit, okay? It is a manly one, though, okay? This isn't like a Matt Gates Chuck E. Cheese kind of thing. This isn't cute, all right? This is really cool. And I ordered a, a ton of soil from the Home Depot so Marjorie can rise up and be resurrected. Now I'm all for us combining fact and fiction with the Alex Jones bunny and the Marjorie zombie Jesus crawling out of the dirt-filled tub with her crown of Dorito thorns. And I don't care if my big brother Ruma dies attempting to vacuum up the mess. But you know, JC, JC, he was known to wear some sandals. I've seen tons of photographs of Jesus in sandals. Selfies in sandals, okay? But if you want this bunny to hop, you better shield me from those multi-directional turnip toes. And I know you tried to jazz them up with spring colors because a nail salon was just burned down to erase any evidence of your mortadella meat stumps getting a soak on peppering. It's not just that you subject the worker to your uneven pair of hammered spam cans with ankles that look like one of the old weathered knots holding Ted Cruz's Canadian canoe to the dock while Lauren Boebert sits eating pork sliders and rubbing lotion into her granny hands. It's that you spend the entire time telling them to take their mask off when they're just trying to filter out your weapons-grade hobbit nail dust that looks like someone stuffed a firecracker and expired can of dollar store parmesan cheese because what is the rule, MTG? The socks stay on. The socks stay on. So where's the comedian? I seen the bald dude, but nothing made me laugh. I mean, I have laughed harder in the child's cancer burn unit at St. Jude's. Mega tears. You are boring. Mega tears. Blah, blah, blah. Bald comedian who's not funny. Mega rules. Trump 24. Mega tears. Seriously, this is here. And before I clicked it, I thought it was because they were blessed by Mike Johnson. Uh, classic. Failed Hercules took to... These men were so dangerous, they required an escort. And I'm not talking about the kind Ted Cruz finds on Craigslist. These men were so dangerous, they required an escort. And I'm not talking... <laughs> these, men were so... these men were so dangerous, they required an escort. 
exposed the latest migrant invasion, posting pictures of three buses arriving at Metro Detroit. These men were so dangerous, they required <laughs> escort. Arriving at Metro Detroit. These men were so dangerous, they required an escort. But don't worry, I have all these available, and if you spend over $500, I will include a Brandon House CD, uh, Woodchuck up 36, there are some hits, <laughs> there are some hits on there. Now, I don't know what Matt was doing hanging out in a field near the airport. I guess every state has their own version of a no questions Woodchuck off the 36. <laughs> That looks like someone stuffed a firecracker and expired can of dollar store parmers and G's went boom, 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 because what is the rule? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please stick around and check out another one of my videos. Say hello in the comments. Find my stand up on Spotify, stream by millions, and add me on Facebook and Instagram. It all helps. Be cool, be kind, take care.